there's a lot of misinformation out there when it comes to gardening with native plants. Some of it is just a misunderstanding or misinterpretation of good information. Some of it's really hard to figure out where it came from. But the truth of the matter is, it can be really hard sometimes to separate fact from fiction. I'm Anthony with Backyard Ecology, and today I'm going to discuss what is probably the biggest myth that deals with gardening with native plants, the myth that they don't have to be watered. Before I dive into the myth, I'd like to cover some basic plant physiology. All plants need water. Even a plant like a cactus that lives in a dry, basically rain-free desert environment must have water, although it can survive on far less than, say, a rainforest species. Water is an essential nutrient for plants and can make up as much as 95% of a plant's tissues. It is used to maintain cellular pressure and gives the plant the ability to bend when the wind blows and to direct its leaves towards the sun. Water is also used to move sugars and other nutrients throughout the plant in the form of sap. Finally, water is used during photosynthesis in the production of glucose, which feeds the plant. So as you can see, water is as important to a plant as it is to you or me. I do not think that the native plants do not need water myth is trying to say that they are free from the physiological constraints of the plant kingdom, but more so that they don't need any supplemental water beyond what mother nature provides them. This is still wrong on several levels. I think we have all seen the native plants have huge root systems that go deep so they never need to be watered meme that makes its rounds on social media every couple of weeks during the growing season. While some species growing in certain soil types and situations do have large deep root systems that help them deal with drought and other times of lower water availability, not all native plants grow this type of root system. Many species of native plants are rhizomatous or have short tap roots that never get more than 12 inches below the surface. Beyond this fact, there are still many things wrong with the native plants never need to be watered fallacy. If you are finding the information in this video useful, please pollinate that like button. When dealing with native plants growing in a garden setting, rarely are they growing in native soil or soil that hasn't been disturbed and maintains a natural soil profile. Often they are being planted near a house in the yard an area that has likely been worked over and compacted by heavy machinery, had the original soil profile altered, and may have zero topsoil present. In these conditions, root growth may be quite different than what the plant would express in undisturbed soils. This altered soil profile may contain little organic matter and may be compacted to the point that water does not infiltrate well, and when it does, the soil does not retain it due to the low organic matter. Over time, the soil organic matter can be built up, and the compaction will subside as plant roots and soil critters loosen it up. However, these things take time, and during that time, plants are likely going to need supplemental water. I'll take a moment to say that Backyard Ecology has many media resources available beyond the YouTube channel. We also have a blog and podcast, online classes, and also books. To become a part of the Backyard Ecology community and help support the YouTube channel, podcast, and blog, we also have Patreon with several levels of membership available. Links to all this are in the description below. Another thing that affects the need for supplemental watering of native plants is the planting of pot grown nursery stock. When planting native plants bought from a nursery, they have been growing in a pot filled with a sterile, soilless potting media. When transplanted into the soil of a garden, it takes them some time to adjust and establish a root system beyond the confines of the pot they came out of. During this transition time, a plant will likely need to be watered at frequent intervals, just as it was when it was being propagated in the nursery. The potting media that still surrounds the roots tends to dry out faster than most soils, or the moisture it contains is wicked away by the soil. As the root system establishes outside of the original confines of the pot, the plant will become more resistant to water availability fluctuations, and after a year of growing in the garden, some species will be quite drought tolerant. Others, not so much. This is because species differ greatly in the amount of soil moisture they require in order to be healthy. Some species require much higher soil moisture in order to thrive. Planting moist soil species in places that do not have moist soils naturally can be done, but they will require quite a bit of irrigation to keep them happy. If you want to water the least amount possible, only plant those species that are adapted to the soils available in your planting area. 
Just don't expect native plants to be kill proof under exceptionally dry conditions if you live in the humid and rainy eastern United States. If they look like they need water, they probably do. Please water them. Be sure to subscribe to Backyard Ecology to learn more about establishing native plants. Click here to learn about some other cool native plant species and get out and explore nature in your backyard.